Did you know that millions of years ago, a land mammal became the ocean's top predator? Imagine a creature that started off small and fragile on land, yet somehow evolved to rule the deep, outsmarting all the other hunters in the sea. But how did this mammal adapt to life in the ocean, and what made it so powerful? In this video, we'll uncover the incredible journey of how a mammal took over the ocean's food chain. We'll see how it developed flippers, layers of blubber, and the ability to hold its breath for long dives, all to survive and thrive underwater. What made this mammal leave land behind, and how did it become so strong and fast? Stick with us as we explore each step of this mammal's evolution. By the end, you'll see just how a land creature transformed to become the ocean's most feared predator, the ocean's newest hunter. Imagine a time when the ocean's apex predator wasn't a shark or a giant fish, but a mammal that had transformed into the ultimate underwater hunter. Over millions of years, certain land mammals made a dramatic shift from land to sea, evolving to become dominant forces in the ocean's food chain. This journey was one of gradual transformation, turning these mammals into the swift, powerful creatures we recognize today as whales, dolphins, and seals. But how did they go from being land dwellers to the rulers of the ocean? This is a story of survival, adaptation, and resilience. A story that reshaped entire ecosystems and redefined the very structure of marine life. Evolution doesn't happen overnight, and each step in this process reveals incredible changes that allowed these creatures to conquer their watery environment. It's a transformation that required changing nearly everything about their physiology and lifestyle, making them perfectly suited for a world once dominated by fish and reptiles. So what did it take for a mammal to rise to the top of the ocean's food chain? Early land mammals, the first steps toward the sea. Long before mammals ruled the oceans, they roamed the land, facing intense competition for resources and territory. In search of new food sources, some early mammals began exploring the coastlines, finding a wealth of untapped resources along the shore. This was their first step toward an aquatic lifestyle, with the coastal ecosystems providing fresh opportunities for survival in a highly competitive environment. Driven by survival and curiosity, these creatures ventured further into the water, where fewer predators roamed and an abundant abundance of fish, crustaceans, and other prey awaited. By staying close to shore, they could avoid the harsher competition and predators of the mainland, while also reaping the benefits of a nutrient-rich marine environment. This coastal exploration marked a significant turning point in their evolution, setting them on a path toward a fully aquatic life. Each small adaptation, like wading into shallower waters, brought new evolutionary pressures that gradually shaped them into the aquatic predators they would eventually become. For these early mammals, the ocean represented not just survival, but the possibility of thriving in a new environment, the shift to aquatic life. Over time, these coastal mammals started evolving physical changes to help them navigate their new, water-based world. The first adaptations were subtle. Limbs developed webbing for more efficient swimming, and lungs became capable of holding breath for longer periods. Eventually, their bodies streamlined, making them faster and more agile in the water. These small changes paved the way for more significant adaptations that would enable them to thrive fully in the ocean. As they spent more time submerged, these mammals adapted to survive longer underwater, a process that took millions of years. Each generation saw subtle changes that helped them swim faster, dive deeper, and stay submerged for more extended periods. Adaptation is survival's greatest tool, as one scientist remarked, and these creatures were a testament to this truth. It was through this slow but steady process that these mammals transformed, with each generation becoming better suited to a life in the water. This marked the beginning of their journey toward becoming apex predators, fully capable of ruling the ocean environment, shallow waters, a safe refuge. In the early days of their transformation, shallow waters offered these mammals a safe refuge from the dangers lurking on land. Here they found protection from large land predators and access to abundant food sources like fish and crustaceans. These areas acted as natural nurseries, allowing young marine mammals to grow and develop in a relatively safe environment. The shallow coastal waters were like training grounds, offering these mammals the chance to hone their aquatic skills. They could swim, hunt, and explore without venturing too far into the unknown depths of the open ocean. This close-to-shore existence allowed them to gradually adapt to their new environment, gaining strength and skills needed for survival in deeper waters. But shallow waters could only offer so much. As they evolved, these mammals ventured further from the shore, ready to face the vast open ocean and its many challenges. This next step in their journey would bring even more more incredible adaptations that allowed them to take on their new role as ocean hunters. From feet to fins, adapting for speed. 
hip. One of the most significant changes in these mammals was the transformation of their limbs. Feet that once walked the earth began to reshape, becoming more fin-like and suited for swimming. This adaptation enabled them to navigate the ocean with greater speed and precision. Their bones shortened and became sturdier, supporting a body built for the demands of aquatic life. These changes weren't just functional, they were essential for survival in a new, competitive environment. Flexible limbs allowed for faster, more agile movements, helping them chase prey and evade threats. The ocean required an entirely different set of skills, and these creatures evolved with a design that met those needs. As their limbs morphed into flippers, they gained an unmatched speed and grace in the water, becoming formidable hunters. This transformation marked a critical step in their journey to becoming the ocean's top predator, setting the stage for the development of new hunting techniques and survival strategies. A new diet from land scavengers to ocean hunters. As they adapted to their new marine environment, these mammals' diets changed as well. Early marine mammals began as scavengers, feeding on whatever they could find along the shore. But as they moved further into the water, their diet shifted toward live prey like fish, mollusks, and other marine creatures. This shift required them to develop new hunting strategies to capture these faster, more elusive prey. In the ocean, they couldn't rely on land-based hunting techniques. Instead, they learned to use stealth, speed, and endurance to pursue and catch prey. Their bodies adapted to help them dive deeper and stay underwater longer, giving them access to more food sources. Over time, they evolved from opportunistic feeders to skilled hunters, fully capable of finding and capturing food in the vast, unpredictable ocean. This evolution from scavenger to hunter was a monumental shift, allowing these mammals to climb the ranks of the marine food chain. With each successful adaptation, they became more adept at surviving and thriving in their new habitat, moving closer to their role as apex predators of the sea. Streamlining for ocean life. To become more efficient in the water, these mammals developed streamlined bodies that reduced drag and increased speed. Instead of fur, they grew thick layers of fat or blubber, which helped them stay warm in the cold ocean depths. Blubber also provided buoyancy, allowing them to float more easily and swim longer distances without tiring. Their limbs became smaller, their bodies more elongated, all contributing to a smoother, faster movement through the water. Streamlining wasn't just about speed, it was about energy efficiency, enabling them to cover great distances in search of food without expending too much energy. This sleek body design was crucial for their survival in the competitive marine environment. With every adaptation, these mammals grew better suited to the ocean's challenges. Their streamlined shape became one of their defining features, a natural design perfectly suited for a life of speed, stealth, and survival in the deep sea. The advantage of size. As these early marine mammals evolved, their bodies grew larger, a trait that offered substantial advantages in the vast, often harsh ocean environment. Increased body size made it easier for them to stay warm in colder waters, as their mass helped them retain heat more effectively than smaller creatures. With this additional size, they could travel greater distances and reach deeper ocean depths, opening up new feeding grounds that smaller marine animals couldn't access. As one researcher put it, size became a survival tool, giving these mammals access to the ocean's best resources. But the benefits didn't stop there. Larger marine mammals could easily evade smaller predators and, in some cases, even intimidate potential threats. This newfound confidence allowed them to venture beyond the shallows and into open waters, where they could hunt more freely and find plentiful food. Bigger bodies also meant that these mammals could dive deeper, navigating the ocean's vast, mysterious depths with increased resilience and power. With each adaptation, these mammals carved out their place at the top of the food chain. Their size allowed them to become more than just survivors. They became rulers of their realm, able to hunt freely and navigate the ocean as true apex predators. Evolution of lungs, mastering the depths. The ocean depths held a bounty of food, but reaching it required some serious adaptations, starting with their lungs. These mammals developed lungs capable of holding more oxygen, allowing them to stay submerged for extended periods. Over generations, their lung structure adapted to withstand the high pressures of deep dives, ensuring that oxygen was used efficiently and that they could return to the surface with minimal strain. Scientists often refer to this adaptation as nature's scuba tank, enabling these mammals to explore regions of the ocean that few others could. This evolution transformed them into master divers. With the ability to hold their breath longer, they could pursue prey across vast distances and into dark depths that were out of reach for most other predators. Their lungs became more than just a means to breathe. They were a critical tool for survival, granting these mammals the freedom to roam far and wide. Thanks to this impressive lung capacity, these mammals could thrive in the deep, oxygen poor waters where other animals couldn't survive. It was this skill that solidified their place as true ocean predators, pushing them one step closer to becoming the undisputed rulers of the seas. Flexibility and Grace in Movement 
Navigating the water required more than just strength. It demanded flexibility and grace. Over time, these mammals developed a unique spine structure, allowing them to move with a fluidity that mimicked the swift, agile movements of fish. Their vertebrae lengthened and became more flexible, enabling side-to-side -side motion that let them twist and turn with precision. Grace in motion, one biologist remarked, was their secret weapon, making them nearly unbeatable in underwater chases. This newfound agility allowed them to approach prey stealthily and maneuver through the water with ease. Whether darting through shallow waters or diving deep to hunt, their movements became fluid, smooth, and remarkably fast. With an elongated body and flexible spine, these mammals could perform movements that would have been impossible for their land-based ancestors. This elegant movement transformed them into silent hunters of the sea. With each agile twist and turn, they gained an edge over their prey, proving that in the vast ocean, flexibility and speed were essential to survival and dominance building muscle for the hunt. As these mammals evolved, so did their physical strength, particularly in their back muscles, which became incredibly powerful. These muscles played a crucial role in propelling them forward, giving them the strength to move swiftly through water and cover vast distances. With every stroke, their muscular tails and powerful back allowed them to close in on prey or escape potential threats, making them efficient hunters. In the ocean, says a marine biologist, strength translates directly to survival. Their increased muscle mass also supported endurance, enabling them to pursue prey across great expanses. This endurance became especially important as they ventured farther from shore, into deeper waters and wider hunting grounds. For these mammals, building muscle wasn't just about speed, it was about transforming into a relentless predator capable of covering long distances without tiring. This physical strength was one of the final pieces in the puzzle, completing their transformation into apex predators. Their power and endurance combined to make them unstoppable in their quest for survival and dominance, embodying a level of mastery that few other creatures could match. Blubber, Nature's Insulation Surviving in icy ocean waters called for serious insulation, and these mammals evolved to develop thick layers of blubber beneath their skin. Blubber served multiple purposes. It insulated their bodies, keeping them warm in frigid temperatures, and acted as a buoyancy aid, allowing them to stay afloat more easily. It also provided a vital energy reserve during long migrations, ensuring they had a source of nourishment when food was scarce. This nature's wetsuit was key to their survival in diverse and often unforgiving ocean habitats. Blubber wasn't just a passive adaptation, it was an active part of their survival strategy, allowing these mammals to explore colder regions of the ocean and to dive deeper for food without losing body heat. The energy stored in their blubber enabled them to endure long distances and challenging conditions, making them well-suited for life in the vast, unpredictable sea. In essence, blubber allowed them to expand their territory and reach new depths, transforming the entire ocean into their hunting ground. This incredible adaptation became one of their defining characteristics. A simple of their mastery over their aquatic domain. Full marine adaptation, a new phase. With each adaptation, these mammals moved closer to a fully aquatic life, and eventually they crossed the threshold to become true ocean dwellers. Their front limbs transformed completely into flippers, while their rear limbs diminished and became vestigial, an evolutionary remnant of their land-based ancestors. This final phase of adaptation marked a complete commitment to life in the ocean, making them some of the most efficient hunters in the marine environment. These changes allowed them to navigate the water with ease, giving them unparalleled control and speed. By fully adapting to their environment, they could thrive in every ocean, from shallow coastal waters to the deep sea. This level of adaptation wasn't just about survival, it was about dominating the food chain and thriving in an environment that was once foreign to them. This transformation marked the beginning of a new era in marine ecosystems. With these mammals at the top, their journey from land to sea was complete, and they had risen to the highest rank in their new kingdom, becoming the ocean's apex predators. Mastering Underwater Hunting Skills once fully adapted to ocean life, these mammals honed their hunting skills, becoming masters of stealth, speed, and strategy. They developed acute senses, allowing them to detect the slightest movements in the water, while their ability to move silently made them nearly undetectable to their prey. With a combination of patience and precision, they became some of the most skilled hunters in the ocean. Stealth, noted one researcher, is the ultimate tool of the predator. Their approach to hunting involved stealth and efficiency, allowing them to capture prey without expending unnecessary energy. They learned to stalk, approach, and strike with incredible accuracy, ensuring a high success rate in their hunts. This skill set enabled them to thrive even in competitive environments, where only the most capable predators could survive. These hunting skills cemented their status as top predators. With every successful hunt, they asserted their dominance over the ocean, establishing themselves as some of the most efficient and formidable hunters on the planet. 
competition with marine reptiles. In their early days, these mammals faced stiff competition from large marine reptiles that had dominated the coastal zones. These reptiles posed a real threat, occupying similar habitats and preying on the same food sources. To outcompete them, marine mammals needed to adapt quickly, using their evolving agility, intelligence, and strength to outmaneuver these formidable foes. This competition pushed them to become faster, smarter, and ultimately better equipped to survive. Over time, however, the dominance of marine reptiles waned, creating an opening for mammals to rise. The adaptability and resilience of these mammals allowed them to take advantage of this shift, stepping into the role left by the declining reptiles. This transition was a turning point, cementing mammals' place as the new rulers of the ocean. As marine reptiles faded into history, these mammals took their place at the top of the food chain, reshaping the marine ecosystem. Their victory over the ancient reptiles marked the beginning of a new era, one where mammals would reign as the apex predators of the ocean. What do you think drove this mammal to leave the safety of land and become the top hunter in the ocean? Do you believe it was a search for food, competition, or something else entirely? And which adaptation do you find most impressive? The flippers, the blubber, or the ability to dive deep? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to know what you think about this amazing transformation. And if you enjoyed this exploration into the ocean's fascinating history, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can catch more stories like this. There's so much more to discover about our planet's past, and we can't wait to share it with you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.